What's up, folks? What's going on? I hope everybody's okay with this pandemic going on. It's been pretty tough. I haven't done any videos. I had a video done of my uh, turkey blind and how I had it set up, and I was deleting pictures. I accidentally deleted my whole damn video. So I've been busy mowing, and this this is the thing I cut through over the winter here. I got it weed-eated. I beat a bunch of rocks up through there with the hammer and broke them off to where they ain't sticking up so bad. And I can get up this. I did this because my deer stand's right there. And uh, I'll show you this. As you can see, that's grown up pretty good. It's hard to get up through here. And I got all this. It's wild honeysuckle. It's taken over right here. It's very evasive. I don't know how in the heck I'm going to get rid of it. You can see it going up the trees. It kills everything. I got a, a place up the trail over there that's just taken over a whole area. But I don't know how in the hell it got here. It wasn't here years ago. But I'll probably take the weed eater up this and cut some of the stuff hanging out here so I can still have a an aisle to shoot through because back there it comes down and then it comes around this corner and it comes right down through here and it goes out into another little field. But I used to do all this with the brush hog. I've been working on this for years. This was all grown up hedge everywhere. I cut all the hedge out. I still got stumps everywhere that I need to really try to burn out of there. And of course rock. This is the rocky thorny area. But I've been doing all this. I started this this uh, fall right before trapping season started. I brought the mower back since it was all dead and started mowing it. But I'm going to try to keep it up this year so I don't have to cut it when it's so tall at the end of the year. Like I said, I used to do it as a brush hog, but we don't have a tractor and brush hog anymore. So, But this is a lot less treacherous to get up than that. So, And it gives another place for the deer to come up through here. Because they come from down there. They come from everywhere, actually. But... The last two bucks I've shot, well, this one this year came from that way. The one year before, two years before that, uh, a buck came up through here. And then I nailed him right about there. Wasn't too far away from my deer stand. The other one I got this year, and my big one that I have on camera, they both came down that pathway right there where my four-wheeler is but I got clear around the corner I've been doing a bunch of work over here I cut a bunch of stuff out of here. The deer likes to come through there. The bucks do. And then this comes this way. All that down in there is all that wild honeysuckle. And it's nothing but rock. Last year, I stopped right there. I didn't even mow this. And I worked on this, beating down rocks, the tops of the, so it ain't so bumpy. I can't take the mower across here, but I can at least drive the mower down it. 
and I can drive the four-wheeler down on a lot easier and I weeded this whole sucker and it comes down to the left hand corner which I've been doing a bunch of work on the last couple years I still got a little piece there hanging out with a bunch of trees but I've cleared this corner I had a nice little oak down there growing and then dang buck tore it up he just thrashed it with his antlers I left one little set of trees there to the right that's got a cedar I'm leaving those eventually these ones here along the fence I'm going to be taking out but I can get up through here better And then this trail goes to the right. And see, I cut all these off. They were all hanging way out here and you couldn't hardly get through here. I cut those off. I think next year, during trapping season, I'm putting a set right here. And I don't even care if it's a walkthrough set. But there's a trail coming through here. The deer coming through there, but there's some deer here. My, my fingers in the way. But I seen coyote hair there. A little while back. But I'm gonna eventually get all the rest of this out of here I've been working on places for the deer to be able to come across the fence and come over here more it's growed up so bad that and then I started working on right here they come through there I know I've worked on it it was really bad so been working on this the pond that I trap and behind me is right down that cliff it goes right down way down there uh, there's deer prints right there and then this goes right back up I can't pause my camera or something something wrong with this phone with my camera goes back up there to that other trail that goes down there to my four-wheeler down there See? the deer love it I just got my new my new camera I went and took it off the tree I had it over there where a turkey hunted last year and where my dad is buried over there and uh got quite a few bucks on it uh i'm gonna be putting some videos off of it on there here pretty quickly i got a video of uh a coyote playing around with like a toad or a frog or something it's pretty funny i got a bobcat walking by during the day video pretty short because that camera is only 15 seconds of video compared to 30 seconds of my other so I've got three bucks on there they're just growing their antlers and I'll probably put it on there too so stay tuned for that and I'll be bringing you a video on my uh, deer blind my ground blind from turkey hunting starts on the 20th I'm trying to finish up with the work that I got to do so that I can start my turkey season got my blind set up my decoys where I want them to be oh and I got a gobbler a big gobbler over there that I barely got on camera 
he's a pretty good size one so hopefully he'll come back this season but this is my new weed eater that I got echo this thing is freaking awesome like I always say it echoes way better in steel than chainsaws and weed eaters. I bought a steel weed eater before and it was a piece of junk. This thing is freaking awesome. You guys want a good weed eater? Buy an Echo. It is, <laughs> I'm telling you, I've enjoyed it so far. I'm working on my other box that goes on the front. This is the small one that was on the front. Now it's on the back. I'm going to have to retake this battery out so I can get my rubber mat back in there. And then uh, I'm working, like I said, I'm working on my other one, getting it painted up and all ready. I'm going to strip this bike down, sand it down, and I'm spraying it with a truck bed liner so the paint don't come off no more. So... Hoping I don't get ticks again. Last year I had Rocky Mountain, Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever twice. So, but I can't just quit doing the work around here. But I'll get back with y'all. You guys take care in this uh, pandemic and stay home. So this uh, can go away and we can all get back. Well, I don't go around people anyway, so. But anyways, folks, I'll let you go. I ain't going to preach too much. Nobody's going to listen anyway, so. <laughs> but, all right, folks, later, thanks. Hit that subscribe button and share this.